Yo, what is going on everybody? I am your host Biscuits. I hope you are all having a fantastic day thus far. Today's video, we will be counting down the top three remote controlled Imani Tech vehicles. So this list is in order of my opinion on what I think the best remote controlled Imani Tech vehicles are. Um, so this does not include the RC Bandito or the RC Tank. This is strictly just the Imani Tech vehicles that you are able to throw a remote control on. Alright guys, so just a quick disclaimer before we get any further into this video. Um, in order to install the remote control unit on the Imani Tech capable vehicles, you do have to own an agency and have the vehicle workshop purchased as well. So as you can see, you have four different options here for the agency. As you can see, I've already purchased this one, and I do have the vehicle workshop purchase as well. So this little disclaimer there that you do have to have an agency and a vehicle workshop in order to install the remote control unit on these vehicles. All right, so I did want to show you all quickly the Amani Tech. As you can see for the remote control unit, add-on it is two hundred and thirty-five thousand um, dollars so it's almost half the price of the missile lock-on jammer um, so I believe that's more than fair so that's just something you need to factor in if you are wanting to get one of the vehicles on this list and throw a, a remote control unit on you will need an, an additional two hundred thirty five thousand just to be able to have that feature unlocked three things that I have factored in to compile this list for you all is first one will be stealth uh, how well does the vehicle blend in with other NPC vehicles on the road um, is it look pretty you know does it fit right in or does it stick out like a sore thumb the second thing we are factoring in for these is the machine gun height that plays a vital role in the remote controlled vehicles being useful um, so I have factored in machine gun height or machine gun placement. Also fire rate has been factored in as well. And finally, the last factor I have put in is the performance of the vehicle. So that's going to come down to speed, handling, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the number three vehicle. Okay guys, so the number three vehicle for remote control Monitech is going to be the Granger 3600. Uh, this vehicle can be purchased for just under 1.4 million. I'm going to show you exactly how to purchase it. Go on your phone here, click on the internet, you will go over to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Click on the luxury category. And it'll be this very first vehicle right here. As you can see, the Classic Granger 3600LX. Now, I do have the trade price unlocked, so that's why it is a little bit cheaper than what I originally said about 1.3 mil. This is the cheapest vehicle on this list, so if you guys are tight on money, this may be the best option for you. As you can see, I already have this thing fully maxed out. Now, the whole point of having remote control vehicles, obviously, if you want to be able to blend in to sneak up on people, and take out those tryhards. So I have kept the modifications very minimal and subtle. Now, performance-wise, this thing is completely maxed out. Um, the only thing that it does not have maxed out on the stats is the suspension, and we will get into that immediately right now, right at the bat. So I did only lower the suspension once, so it has lowered suspension. It does not have the race um, handling on there. All right, so real quick, guys, just wanted to show you the suspension I have on the Granger 3600. As you can see, it is the lowered suspension. I have found that that is the best setup as far as being able to take out enemies, griefers, etc., etc., with the machine gun. As you can see, the machine gun placement is pretty much perfect to take out other people in other vehicles, walking on the street pretty much exactly where you need them to be. Machine gun placement, very, very good in this vehicle. Stealth, you know, to blend in with other NPCs in this, um, on the road, this thing is like 10 out of 10. Perfect for blending in, as long as you keep the modifications on it pretty minimal and don't do anything crazy. I mean, this thing just looks like a regular 
Chevy Suburban on the road. There's nothing crazy about it, so it's really easy to sneak up on tryhards. Anyone's trying to grief you. Very, very fun to uh, troll people with this thing. So um, speed and performance is not the best on this thing. I will be honest with you. So that is why it is number three. Acceleration is pretty bad. Top speed's not that great. Handling's not that great. Again, it is still a very good remote control vehicle. Amani Tech and the machine guns on it are actually pretty good. Um, you can actually take out vehicles pretty quick with this thing. The fire rate. I mean, as you can see, this took me, what, six or seven seconds to completely blow up this vehicle, so... Yeah, the fire rate is actually very good. Um, I think it's a little bit better than the Night Shark, actually. So definitely a vehicle to consider if you are looking into remote-controlled Amani Tech vehicles. So that is why the Granger 3600 is number three on our list. Alrighty, guys, moving on to number two, the second vehicle on our list for the best remote-controlled Amani Tech is, of course the Enos Jubilee. This vehicle is primarily based on a Bentley. It is one of the better remote controlled vehicles in GTA Online. Here is how to purchase the Jubilee. You will need to go on the internet on your phone. Go ahead and click on Legendary Motorsport. Scroll over to the four-door category and scroll down one line and as you can see it is right here. The Enos Jubilee can be purchased for $1,650,000. Starting off with the stealth and being able to blend in with NPCs. The first factor I factored in, um, it's decent in stealth. Obviously, there are not any other NPC vehicles on the road that look like this. So stealth, blending in with the people, it's, it's not the worst, but it's also not the best. Um, obviously, this heavily depends on how you modify it. As you can see, I've kept it pretty... Minimal on the modifications. Um, performance is completely maxed out, but I mean, it's just kept it black. Stock wheels. I mean, that's the best way to go. RC vehicles, 100%, is just kind of keep it minimal so people really have no clue that you're in a remote control vehicle and about to run them over or whatever you're trying to do. So, uh, the second factor for this vehicle, the machine gun height. Machine gun height is pretty much perfect to take out any tryhards in their own vehicles. As you can see, um, they're a little bit more narrow than the Granger, uh, but height-wise, it's, it's pretty much spot on. So that is pretty much the perfect height you're going to want your machine guns. As you can see, they do come out right here, right in between the headlights. All right, guys, so real quick, I want to show you the suspension setup I have for the Innis Jubilee. As you can see, I have it on competition. Um, I have found that that is the best suspension setup to be able to do the most damage with the machine guns and have them hit the, your, your target more accurately. So that is what I have set up on the Jubilee. And finally, on to the third thing I factored in, the speed slash performance of this vehicle. This is actually one of the top 10 fastest SUVs in the game, so performance and speed is very good for this vehicle. Um, it's definitely going to help you be able to get away. Mark II is trying to lock onto you, etc. I would definitely recommend the Enos Jubilee for a remote-controlled vehicle. And let's go ahead and give you guys a quick little uh, test drive in this thing. Now, so to go into uh, RC mode, you will click Inventory. You will scroll down to remote control vehicles in the bottom option, RC personal vehicle. That's going to put you right into your RC vehicle. Now, at this point right here, you are completely off the radar. You're off the map. Let's go ahead and do a little test drive here. As you can see, this thing is very quick. Its uh, acceleration is very nice. has a good top speed. It has good handling. can pretty much brake on a dime. So yes, performance-wise, definitely an improvement from the Granger. It is a little bit more expensive, so it's about $300,000 more than the Granger 3600, so it's something to keep in mind. Performance-wise, this thing is great, and the machine gun fire rate's great as well. As you can see, the machine guns are a little bit more narrow than the Granger, but I mean, I just took out that NPC right there. Vehicle's already on fire. 
and it blew up in about six or seven seconds. So um, I've taken out uh, people in vigilantes in this RC vehicle before. I've taken out people in uh, deluxos who were just being reckless and just hovering right in the ground and not staying up high like they should. And literally just shot the dude right out of the front window with this griefer. And it was absolutely hilarious. I wish I would have got it recorded. But nonetheless, um, that is about it for vehicle number two. And finally, in the number one spot for the best Amani Tech vehicle to throw a remote control unit on is none other than the Bravado Buffalo SCX. Many of you probably saw this coming. Um, I mean, this car is an absolute beast. It is extremely fast around a track. I believe it is like the second fastest muscle car in the game currently. All right, guys, so in order to purchase the Buffalo STX, you will need to go ahead and open up your phone and click on the internet. Scroll down over here to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Click on the four-door category. And as you can see, it is right here, the third vehicle over, Bravado Buffalo STX. Now, this is actually the trade price. The actual price, the buy it now, is $2,150,000. Or as you can see, you can have it for just over 1.6 mil if you have the trade price unlocked. Some of the factors, we have stealth. Now, as far as stealth goes, this vehicle is pretty decent at stealth. It looks very similar to the old uh, Buffalo, which is an NPC car in this game. So you will blend in relatively easily with this car. And again, it's going to have to kind of go fall back on modifications. Uh, as you can see, I've kept this pretty much stock looking. Uh, Performance wise, it is 100% maxed out. All right, guys, just want to show you my suspension setup I have for the Bravado Buffalo STX. We are completely at stock suspension. In the past, I did have it on competition, but I was noticing I was shooting too low for most of the time. So I recently changed to stock, and I'm having much better luck accurately hitting my targets that I'm trying to take out. So I would recommend stock suspension for the Buffalo STX as far as the remote controlled vehicle goes. Um, this car already sits kind of low, so you really don't want to lower it any more if you are going to use it as a remote control vehicle. The stealth is pretty good, not the best. Um, the Granger is the best for stealth, but this vehicle is still pretty good for stealth. The machine gun height is a little bit lower than perfect, but I've found that it is pretty much where you need it to be. Speed and performance. For this car, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, this is, at the time this video is being recorded, this is the fastest vehicle that you can throw a remote control unit on for Monty Tech. So it hauls major ass. This thing is fast. It's excellent around corners. Handling everything about this car, as far as performance goes, is 10 out of 10 perfect. So now back to the machine gun placement. The Enus Jubilee actually has a little bit better machine gun placement as far as height wise, but the reason why I put this vehicle ahead of the Enus and why it's in first place as far as the best remote controlled unit is this little trick right here I'm about to show you. So as you can see, machine guns, when we're sitting here, it shoots just a little bit lower than the uh, silhouette there as you can see from where the Granger and the Jubilee shot at. But the reason why this vehicle is better than the Jubilee is for this little trick right here. So as some of you may know, muscle cars you can do wheelies with, right? Okay, so we're gonna hold handbrake down, we're gonna hold the gas pedal down, and we're gonna let go of the gas, okay? So you can wheelie. So go ahead and do that same thing. Hold your handbrake down, hold the gas down accelerator, and as soon as you're ready, as soon as you hit your fire button, it'll automatically really for you, and you can take out players who are standing on ledges, or if they're like a little bit higher and harder to get. I mean, for example, if there was a dude sitting right on top of that ledge, thinking he can't be hit by my car, I could easily just do this trick I just told you about, and probably hit a couple bullets, and hit and damage him, and possibly take him out, if not severely reduce his health, so. That wheelie trick alone, that you're seeing right now is the reason why this vehicle is in the number one spot for being in remote controlled. Now another good 
trick I will tell you about is you push start and go into settings, go into camera, first person vehicle hood. You're going to want this on for remote control vehicles because essentially it's just going to give you a better view of what you're doing. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'll go ahead and turn it off. Now I believe from the factory this game comes with it off. So when you go to get into your remote control vehicle inventory, remote control, RC personal vehicle. As you can see, it's from the inside cockpit point of view. So we're it's a little bit harder to see. Now, if you prefer to play it this way, then by all means, you go right ahead and do it. But personally, I've had much better luck of being able to see the entire screen. So, again, settings, camera, first-person vehicle hood on, and there we go. It just essentially gives you just a better view, more room in your screen to really be able to see where you're going and, and take somebody out. Here are the machine guns. As you can see, they're pretty deadly. I mean, that's seven, eight seconds to blow up that vehicle. So just slightly behind uh, maybe the Granger and the Jubilee. This thing is a beast as far as trying to chase people and take them down. But yeah, this this car handles like a dream, man. It's just, I mean, you can't really get better than this as far as remote controlled vehicles. Alright, did you guys see that? I literally just one-shotted this NPC inside this vehicle simply by doing that trick I was telling you about. Hold the handbrake, hold the accelerator, and simply just hit the fire button, and you'll wheelie right up. And of course, all of the remote control vehicles do have a self-detonate button. As you can see in the bottom right-hand corner there, holding down the detonate button, you can hold X and you can blow up anything that is around you. Um, but a little disclaimer, you will get charged $20,000 from Mars Mutual Insurance to recall this vehicle back. So it's a little pricey, um, and I believe it is $20,000 for all uh, Amani Tech vehicles. So something to keep in mind um, if you are going for try to detonate. I have found it's just, it's usually easier just using the machine guns and cruising around to try to take out players than using the detonation. Uh, it's not super reliable. I mean, I've been right next to other players in G GTA Online that I've been trying to, you know, return the favor and grief back, and it didn't blow, it didn't do anything to them. So, just something to keep in mind as far as the self detonating goes. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you found this helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this video has helped you decide which vehicle you would like to purchase to throw on the remote control unit. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please drop a like on your way out. Consider subscribing for more content just like this. I'm your host, Biscuits, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.